Good morning. Hello. I'm running late. I am running really late. Normally I go live at eight o'clock for my Tuesday technique. And today, well, today it's now 20 past eight. Why is it? Look, it's 20 past eight because first of all, I got caught up doing something. And then secondly, when I finally made it out here, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. That's not true. I figured out what I wanted to do. Um, I thought, that's awesome. That's perfect. I can do that. But I couldn't find this stamp. And I seriously, it was doing my head in. I was looking everywhere. So do you ever have that problem where you want to do something and you can't find something? Let me know in the comments, what is it that you lose most frequently? Because by crikey's, this was doing my head. How can I lose a stamp? Like a stamp, that. Do you know how I can lose it? I'll tell you how I can lose it. So what happened was I looked over there. I looked over here. I looked around here about three times. You know how you look? Same place. And then I finally looked over there. It doesn't really matter where. And I picked this up. This is the kit that, um, you know, has everything in it. And I obviously had put this down and then look, see, disappearing act. Now you see it. No, you don't. Now that I've found my stamp, I can show you guys this awesome technique for Technique Tuesday. Yay! If you're watching on the replay, hashtag relax, no space in between, just because I think it's hilarious. Um, if you're watching live, say hi. If you're not watching live, it doesn't surprise me because I'm really late. And hopefully my internet is going to keep working. So I'm just going to, sorry, I'm going to move this yes no my internet is connected to the correct one okay so what am i doing well just because it's simple for me i'm going to keep going through this awesome um card making workshop kit which is the let's party card making workshop kit just because i was not prepared which is so unusual for me but it's got some really great techniques in here and that's what i'm going to show you i'm going to show you some stamping techniques Although this is a card making workshop kit, it has lots of techniques that you can use on card making, scrapbooking, or any paper craft project. And I'm going to go with project number two. Now, see these? These are my spectacles, and I need them now because I've been reading this morning using spectacles. Oh, they're quite comfortable. And see, look, it's so sticky. That is why they have a carrier sheet for it. Maybe if I did that, it might help. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this little square here. So when you're dealing with a card making workshop kit from Close to My Heart and you get these amazingly awesome, bright, shiny, glossy, um, very clear instructions, they will give you instructions on how to create certain elements. And it's normally if there's a technique, it's shown up here. So for instance, if we turn back to the first page, which is all sticky, ugh, there was a technique here and it was shown up the top. If we go to the third project, again, there's a technique. And the fourth project, there's a technique. Sometimes there's no technique required. You just stick it down, stamp it, and it's pretty straightforward. But with this card, with project two, there is a technique, which is really great. So I can show you. So the technique that I want to show you is selective inking. And as I was reading this, I mentioned in the video I did last Tuesday or Friday, whenever I did it, um, I read through this. It said, tips, stamp the arrows and day using the selective inking and masking techniques. And I thought, well, that's great. But what does that mean? If you keep reading, it actually tells you what the technique is. And that's what I'm going to walk you through. Now, yes, you could go and buy this um, particular kit. You could read it yourself. But why not join me in a fun adventure? Because, <laughs> you know, I, I usually really muck it up. Enough of that. Let's jump in and get this done. All right. So we have we have our stamp. This is the stamp from the kit exclusive. And we have our white piece of paper. I need a squishy under that. So I'm actually going to put the stamp that way down so it doesn't stick to anything and walk away. Um, I've just turned the white cardstock over. Now, white cardstock is the same color on both sides. With other paper, let's just, let me just show you this one. So for instance, with this this paper, which I've cut birthday out of, if I flip it over and you can't really see it very well, can I get a better example? No, okay. Um, with this paper, 
it's double sided. Oh, there you go. It's double sided. So there's a light side and a dark side. You can't flip this over and expect to have the same color and stamp on that side. But with white, you can. So it doesn't really matter what side you stamp on. But I flipped it over because I've noticed there's a bit of a bend. I don't know if you can see that in the paper. And if I have it that way where, where it's bending up, it won't stamp as well for me. So that's why I flipped it over. All right. Tips. Stamp the arrows and day using selective inking and masking techniques. That's not a tip. Once the ink is dry, colour the sentiment with the lightest colour sh coral shades, shoral cades, blend marker. So that's the dark. That's the light. These are awesome, by the way. If you haven't seen the alcohol markers, check them out. Ink the edges of the cardstock with Bluebird ink by sliding them on the ink pad. There are so many techniques in here until the desired amount of colour is achieved. Technique. Right. So this is the selective inking technique selective inking and masking technique cover the arrows arrows okay so it's this stamp here it says day and i'm going to do this one on first so when you're taking your stamp off the carrier sheet so stamp carrier sheet sorry for the rude finger don't just tear it off they are pretty strong but they're also they can be pretty weak this one's a fairly solid back into it so it shouldn't um it shouldn't go wonky donk like the other stamp that i had so brand new stamp set what i'm going to do is season it tap 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 on my arm and then do that and that just seasons it another technique another day okay so that's now on my block cover the arrows on the stamp with sticky notes okay i didn't have sticky notes i brought my masking tape so I need a little bit of masking tape and because I'm just feeling a bit nervous I'm actually going to cut it and that way I'll have a nice straight edge I don't feel like tearing today people I'm not tearing and I'm going to do this now maybe sticky notes are better because they're stickier I don't know but I'm using masking tape okay so we're doing this and then it says then Ink the stamp with intense black. Now, I don't use intense black. If you have been following me for a while, you will know I don't use intense black. So here is my black. By the way, I've got something really exciting happening today in my studio. I have someone coming to help me organize. So hopefully I won't walk around looking for stamps. Okay, so I've covered the arrows. Then ink the stamp with intense black or black. And because my ink is really, really juicy, I probably don't need to put that much on. Okay, so that's what they say to do. And then, because I have read these instructions, I was a little prepared. Remove the sticky notes, then stamp on 2H, which is this piece here, by the way. Clean the stamp, carefully apply Bluebird ink to the arrows on both ends of the stamp, not inking the day portion, and stamp on 2H. Now, I'm actually going to do it a little bit different, just because I'm a rebel without a cause. These are going to get chucked because they're very inky okay maybe they're not going to get chucked they're going to get placed and i need i need i need uh bluebird ink so bluebird ink comes out and i'm rather than oh, i got ink on my finger <laughs> rather than stamp that which is possibly going to make a mess because it's so juicy ah, uh, and then clean it and da 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 i'm just going to Put bluebird ink directly onto the arrows. So what I'm doing is I'm holding the arrows over the ink pad over the edge and making sure that I don't put the D, because I'm doing that side of it, the D into the ink pad. Then I'm doing this side and making sure I don't put the exclamation mark into the ink pad, tapping that up. And that way, when I stamp it, once it's done and I don't have to worry about lining up. I've got ink on my finger. <laughs> lining up. The word and the arrows and everything i'm so glad i'm wearing my glasses okay so we stamp that down now it's a bit tricky because i don't want my black to go really juicy i hope that's not my lady coming to help me no it's not okay <gasps> there you go and it's done see look so let me bring that up it's so exciting look at that so you've got two colors on the same stamp by using that what's what do they call it selective inking and masking technique so the masking technique is masking them out of the way and selective inking is, you know, after they say you clean it and everything, then that comes up. But you can actually do it like that, one foul swoop, tweet, tweet, 
Uh, I do need to clean this. So let me just clean that off because otherwise that's really yucky. And that's it. Do you want me to keep going? What do you reckon? Oh, let me clean my finger. See, that's what I don't like about ink. It stains. So I've cleaned that and it's still dirty. Do you want me to keep going? I want to keep going. I think I've got time. If only just... Okay, I'm going to keep going. don't care what you say. I'm going to keep going. So um, that one's clean. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Let's not start with ink. Let's start with this stamp here. It's your... Because it's, it's your day. You can't see that, can you? No. It's your day. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I am getting used to having to have my camera this way i'm not going to complain i'm just going to say i'm getting used to it i am used to having my camera they're two words <laughs> used to having my camera landscape so that i can show you everything that i'm doing all the way out to the side i'm not used to having things above and below me they're two words um okay i can do this can't i your is going to go on the right hand side your it's day does that fit in anywhere i don't know okay it's your day i'm going to put them like that so they <laughs> i wanted them to be together i'm going to put them on here i can see that then how they sit i really would have preferred them to be together that's okay it means that i can there's more i can do with it i would have preferred them to be together how many times are you going to say that charlotte um let's go up a little bit so we, I'm just moving these around. Here's another technique for you, another tip. Before you ink your stamp up, just place it on your paper to figure out if you're happy with its positioning. Good, good. That's it. Grab the correct size block. Look, here's one I prepared earlier. I don't know if that's... Shh. Okay. It'll do, donkey. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cheat. So that goes on there like that is it straight it's pretty straight yep good that's good all right it's your day so then season brand new stamp never used it and i'm going to use the black again and this is actually why they've said to use intense black because if you're going to color in with an alcohol marker intense black is the best ink to use because it won't run however i do find that the black ink that they discontinued and then I said something to them about the fact that I prefer this ink. Um, and it may or may not have been me. It was probably a few makers saying we like the ink. They brought it back. So if you want this ink, which is exclusive inks, it's a water-based dye ink, acid-free, Z2805, you can now buy it again and you're welcome. All right, it's your day. Here we go. I'm so glad I've got the gift of the gab and I can just, you know, talk. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. That's so cool. All right, take that one out. I'm just cleaning off my stamp in my squishy. No, it's not. It's a chamois. Do you want to see my chamois? Let me show you my chamois. So this is my chamois. Ta-da! It's very dirty. Yes, okay, that's a bit embarrassing. So that has now been stamped. Now, the ink is dry. I just wiped my fingers on the chamois. The ink is dry. So if I do this, it actually, it doesn't, like, you know, smear smudge nothing doesn't do any of that uh, however i will leave it for a little bit before i color in with an alcohol marker because as i said before it's a water-based dye ink which means that any wetness onto it is potentially going to make it bleed and we don't want to make things bleed okay then i have what color is this this is not that size <laughs> sundance and the stars the pretty pretty stars are in sundance okay i need a star I'm a star. <laughs> I think I'm really nervous today. I have this complete stranger coming to help me with my craft room to clean it up, to get it organised. If my voice just faded, it's because I had to step away from the camera to get a small block so I wasn't that prepared. Um, she's coming in. I don't know what she's going to do, but apparently she's going to help me clean up. Who wants to see my craft room? I'll show you after this. All right. Uh, it's a mess. I'll take a photo before and I'll take a photo during and I'll take a photo after. Right. Again, I am just going to reasonably, relatively, that goes over there, that goes up. Look, you can still see it when I put it up there. That goes there, that goes there. Right. If I bring this, it's just frustrating because I work outwards, not upwards. 
<laughs> Stop complaining. Okay, I'm not complaining. I like this because I can copy to a certain degree. So I want my star kind of pointing in a different direction. I'm therefore going to go one there, hold it for one, two, three. That was probably five seconds. And the color is great. What's that? No, good. Okay. That's too much ink. That's okay. And they've got three stars. Why do they have three stars? Well, I've heard the theory is in nature, when you look at things in nature, flowers, and such, you'll find that a lot of them have an odd number of petals. Um, and it just, so it looks natural to our, our eye to have an odd number of things, which is why there's three arrows and there's three stars. Well, that's why I put three stars on. If you have an even number, it don't, that sounds wrong to say it doesn't look natural, but our eyes kind of, I don't know, I returned the star to that carrier sheet because otherwise it will get lost. The other stuff can stay on there. All right, so is that everything? No. The only other two things that need to be done are looking at this picture that I'm... I knew that was going to happen. So when the internet went down, I decided to have a drink and I had a mouthful of water when you came back. So my apologies for the silence. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. So we have stamped everything. There is still colouring in to do. And then there is some bling, most important thing. I'm actually not going to put the bling on because what I find is that it's easier to stick this down to your card first and then put the bling on. There was something else that needed to be done though, and I can do that. The longer I leave that black, the more it will dry, the better it will be because it will be less likely to bleed. So when they say ink the edges of the cardstock with Bluebird ink by sliding them on the ink pad until the desired amount of colour is achieved, probably didn't need to read all of that. You can do this a number of ways. So you can either slide it this way and you can't really see that. Let me grab another piece of white paper so I can show you. So if you look, there's just a little bit of ink on this edge this edge here you can do it that way if I sat that on to the ink pad and just left it sitting on there it will actually absorb that ink or you can do this and that puts more ink on let me grab that white piece of paper again it puts more ink on and that's what they mean by sliding the cardstock on the Bluebird ink. I prefer to use that. You can also use a sponge or you can use a dauber. You can use um, a blending brush. Not really. Okay, ignore that one. There are other tools that you can use, but you know, why, why bother when you can just use the ink pad in your hand? Okay. And then I just like to kind of try and make it so it matches. Matchy, matchy. Get it all the way around. And then, doesn't that look cool? That looks really cool. It looks very nice. Okay, now that that's all done and I've got nothing left to do really, I can grab my alcohol marker. I have to put it that way because, or I can put it down, because that way it doesn't fit on the screen. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about these alcohol markers. They have a color name up here and down there and see how, if I take that off, they're different colors. That's because in the one pen, there are one, two, go in there, three. It's actually a three in one. That's why they call it a tri blend because it's tri three. Get it? Light, mid, and dark. And it tells you this is CR7, CR8, CR10. If you know about alcohol markers, which I don't know a lot of, then you'll know what that means. Anyway, it just pretty well means that it's the same color. It's just darker or lighter or mid. And so what they say is using this alcohol marker. Hang on. Where does it say it? Da, 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 da. Once thing is dry. Colors in the lightest coral shades. Coral shades. Got it right. Blend marker. Hang on. Coral shades blend. See, there are two of these. No, I'm just going to use this one. Okay. So lightest. 
and then my my cameras okay can i do this i'm glad i'm wearing my glasses maybe i'll bring this in i know i can bring this in to show you without actually moving the camera in because i can do this uh -huh. and then it just moves it away from my head that's not helpful so what i'm going to do is using the very tippy tippy tip tippy toe of my marker i'm just going to do this and i'm not going to touch the edges the sides of the ink and what happens is the alcohol ink the alcohol the alcohol in, i don't know my explanation is the alcohol in the ink makes the ink spread and that's why you don't touch the edges because it will spread out to the edges and it won't actually necessarily make the the edges the ink bleed so if i just touch it through the middle and let it seep out bleed out to the edges hopefully it will not bleed it will it will not make the the actual black bleed um and no i'm not doing a demonstration because i'm using up all your time and i don't want to do that so um i will on another video i might even do a course or something in alcohol marker coloring thing um it it was a bit more difficult before because we had so many alcohol markers and it was so expensive to really get into it I'm really pleased close to my heart actually reduced the number of alcohol markers that we have because look to be honest we're not copic okay when we're, we're not copic if you want like thousands and thousands of markers go for it but we're not we are a paper crafting company that we goodness me they are a paper crafting company i'm not a paper crafting company they are a paper crafting company that encourages you and inspires i inspire you they encourage i don't know they sell paper craft stuff and so do i what am i trying to say paper crafting is their focus not alcohol markers okay you only need a few to put a little bit of color and there you go how cool is that so what have i done today i have shown you selective inking and masking technique on this it was really cool i used masking tape you can use what did they say sticky notes you can use whatever you want i've also showed you coloring and i've also showed you edging so i hope you've enjoyed that i can see a few people have commented good morning to karen and Rhonda and karen karen and karen and Sue, so, um, my new year is going to be fabulous because I've decided it's going to be. Rhonda does not like using intense black either. I would love to know why, Rhonda. Um, I'm a rebel. I certainly am a rebel. Yes, that's true. Thank you so much, Linda, for saying it's great. Very kind. All right, ladies, as always, what do I say? Stay safe. Oh, that looks terrible. I'm going to zoom out. Let's zoom out. That's a big finger. Stay safe, keep crafting, and bye for now. Have a great day.